It turns out finishing third in the league, being also runs in the Europa Conference League and getting pumped all the time by the old firm isn't good enough for Lauren Shankland as he says he wants to go a level higher. Welcome back guys to Fog Football. Bad news for Hearts fans, bad news for me. Lauren Shankland says he has a duty to himself to secure the best contract of his career and that he wants to play at a higher level than he is currently at. Now before we get into what Lauren Shankland actually said, I do believe he will not be at Hearts in two years time. I mean if he stays next year I will be shocked but there's no way he's going to stay beyond that. His contract runs out at the end of the 2025 season I believe that no matter what happens, he will be gone by then. Hearts will either have the option of offloading him in this summer with only one year left on his contract where he won't get as much money or there is the possibility that if he stays, he agrees to join a club in December or January even on a free, then Hearts get absolutely nothing for him. Or I guess there's a third possibility where he could sign a bit of a bumper contract where Hearts give him more money, but therefore Hearts can maybe generate a little bit more in terms of transfers when they do sell him. But either way, look, I do not think Shankland has got any more time left at Hearts beyond the 2024-2025 season. He is getting older. By the end of that season, he will be, what, almost 30 years old. If he's going to take this level up, if he's going to take this step up, then it has to be soon. He's not going to get to 32, 33 and then earn this big move. That is unlikely. If he's going to do it, then it's probably going to happen, you know, within the next 12 to 18 months. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens a lot sooner than that. The fact that his contract has been allowed to be run down to this stage is, is worrying. And he was obviously talked about potentially moving in January there. He didn't do it. There was some possible contract talks. They didn't sign anything. He said he'll look at it come the end of the season. And I'm just not convinced that he will be a Hearts player come September 2024. We've also got the Euros in the summer. If he performs well in that, that's just going to spark even more interest. And yeah, the likelihood the likelihood is if Hearts want to keep Lauren Shankland, they're probably going to have to offer him a contract that Hearts have never ever came close to offering anyone before. And I think Shankland would be worth it. I think this is the time where you show that you're serious, that you want to try and do something. I'm not talking about winning the league or beating the old firm to league titles, but I'm talking about being a, a threat, you know, closing the gap, trying to do something. And if you want to get better, if you want to try and put a challenge in, you have to keep your best players. And Shankland is the best player that Hearts have had in a very long time. So if you're ever going to break the bank, if you're ever going to give some someone a contract that is massive, that you've never given out before, then this is the time to do it. But we'll wait and see if that happens or not, because I'm, I'm not convinced Hearts will do that. But Shankland did say it's vital that he is rewarded for the greatest spell of his career, and he says that Jambo's boss, Stephen Naismith, and the club know his feelings about this. So this is what Shanklin said. He said, quote, I have a duty and a responsibility to set myself up. I feel like I owe that to myself with how hard I've worked in my career. We all understand the situation. We have had all... We have had really open conversations about it, Nase, myself, and the club as a whole. I am still under contract at Hearts and I would never disrespect that position. I still have ambitions to get to a level. I don't feel like I have got to that level where I am not good enough. It would have, it would be nice to kick on. It would be nice to kick on, see how far I can go in the game, try to play at a higher level than this. We will see what it brings, but I would never be disrespectful to what I have got at Hearts. The club have been great for me since I have gone up there and have given me a real platform to perform at a high level with a top Scottish club. I really enjoy it there. If I am there for next season, then I am more than happy. But I am coming into a position now where I am going into the last season of my contract and conversations will need to be had at some point. End of quote. So, I mean, Shankland, he's, he's not, in his own words, he's not trying to be disrespectful, but it does sound like he's looking for a move. It does sound like he is wanting to go somewhere better and higher than Hearts. That's what it sounds like to me. And I think even if he was offered the same contract, if he's offered the same amount of money by Hearts and a club in a better league at a higher level, I still believe that he 
probably would choose the other club because it seems like that's what he wants to do. He did speak about levels. He said he's never got to a level where he feels he isn't good enough. He's went abroad once. He went to Belgium, didn't really work out. I'd argue he's a much better player now, though, than he was back then, and maybe he wants another goal at something like that. But when asked about whether his future could lie in England or overseas, Shankland said, quote, you want to push on. Can I get somewhere where I say, right, that wasn't good enough? I don't feel like I have experienced that yet. You could finish your career and have regrets and say, I wish I had tried that and seen if I could play there. If you get the chance, you try to go and do it. There are loads of leagues all over Europe. I have been abroad before. I will see. I would go abroad again. The people at Hearts want me to progress in my career as well and do really well. The main thing is everybody is on the same page. We will see what the summer brings. End of quote. So, I mean, there you go. Shanklin again talking about Europe. Talking about how he, he would be willing to go there again. He's, I think he's looking for a move. I don't blame him. Look, I think the guy is probably the best Scottish striker right now. He can play at a level higher than Hearts. Sometimes I think that, you know, I see Hearts lose games and I, I do feel a bit bad for him. I think, you know, he probably doesn't deserve to be on the losing side here. If he had better players around him, he'd probably even have more goals to his name. So I do think Shanklin can do better than Hearts. Now, selfishly, I, I want him to stay. I don't want him to go. But if he does go, then it is what it is. But what I would like is, can he talks about how hearts have helped him and how hearts have made him progress and he is thankful for his time. If, if he's that thankful, can he not sign a new contract and then get us an even better fee for when he does leave? That's what does annoy me about players. They, they talk about loving a club. They, they're, they're grateful, respectful to the club. But you, you see so many players that are good leave their clubs on the last year of their contract or, you know, they leave on a free. It's like if the club's really been that good to you, if you have a lot of respect for that club, can't you at least just agree a deal where you sign an extra year or two, but with the ambition to move on? Like, I don't know why we can't see that more in football. I think that would be a generous thing to do. If this club's giving you a chance, if this club's, you know, taking an opportunity on you, that's something that annoyed me about John Souter. Because John Souter was injured pretty much for probably half his Hearts career. And Hearts were paying his wages. Hearts were always giving him that opportunity. And then he just runs down his contract and leaves on a free to go to Rangers. Could John Souter not have signed a, a two-year extension and at least got Hearts, you know, a decent amount of money? So hopefully we can see that for Shankland. If he, if he wants to leave, then th there's no reason why he, he can't stay at Hearts for another year get a contract extension with the agreement that he will be sold on. I don't see why that can't happen. Hearts are in European football next season. I think he should stay one more year. If I was Shankland, I would do that. I'd stay one more year. He's got the Euros in the summer. One more year at Hearts, European football. See if he can try and win a trophy, win a cup or something, League Cup, Scottish Cup. See if he can help Hearts get out of the group stage in Europe. You know, next season could be a good season for Shankland. He's going to be busy in the summer. Maybe he shouldn't be focusing on moving clubs. That's another thing. You've got the Euros coming up. Does he really want to worry about his career and his future? You'd think that he'd want that sorted so he can go and play for Scotland without any other worries hanging over his head. But look, guys, we'll see what happens. That's it. I do believe that he will. I think he will go. If, if, he, if he doesn't go in the summer, I believe he will definitely 100% not be a Hearts player for the start of the 2025 campaign. That's my prediction. I think, there's, I think it's like a 50-50 chance where he stays one more season, but I don't see him staying any longer than that. And to be honest, I, I don't really blame him. He, he, he is at a higher level, and he can play at a higher level, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, that's it. Till next time, peace.